one of the videos. <laughs> Happy Halloween, yeah baby. Hope you had a great weekend and I hope you're excited for a really long video today. And the reason why it's long is not because I'll be blabbering the entire time like I've done in videos in the past. It's because today's video is an adventure, my favorite, absolute favorite adventure of the year. We're gonna go embark on that journey, come back here, and then talk a little bit about the future, the present, the past, and the future. If that sounds good with you. Enjoy the video. See you in a bit, baby. Go with it. Go with it. Come on, it's for the video, you have to do it. It's for the content. <laughs> Making friends, Lord? <laughs> oh, God. It's gonna attack me. <laughs> Welcome to the next day here in Disney World. Today, we go to the jungle. Ooh, sick! That's the jungle right there. That oh god. <laughs> Mic work. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. We are here in, well, actually, Pandora. What? What? <laughs> here in Pandora. Wanted to log in, first time today, seeing how Animal Kingdom rolls with Pokemon Go. Pretty solid, actually. Obviously, not a ton like right where we're standing, but not bad. We got a Maractus in the nearby. We actually have a Heracross. Dude, I'm still waiting to get the first uh, Orlando Heracross. Every time that one spawns, it's always like away from me. We have Heracross in the nearby uh, and kind of a whole lot going on. Well, this is an hour and a half line, so we'll be dropping an incense and I'll be luring up stops as we walk past them, but okay, well, you know, starting it off here, not bad at all. It could be a fun adventure. Maractus spawns, still love it. It's not old yet. Fun day today. You're going to see apparently one of the highest rated, the highest rated ride in all the Disney parks, which is the Avatar ride we're waiting for, and um, a safari through the zoo and the jungle. Lauren Fox. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is more what I'm talking. Oh wait, the, this this spawned. This is a quad stop, quad lure, right here. We're almost like into the middle of it, so we'll have that. There was a carnivine of my incense that I wanted to show that's now gone, and also, I'm pretty sure this shadow scyther, if purified, should give us a hundo scyther. Now I don't know if I should have kept a super high IV shadow scissor for anything. We're just, we're just gonna purify it. <laughs> like if it's a PVP thing, I don't really PVP. So this will maybe give us a cool little hundo today, a purified hundo, 1933 CP. Yes, and it is, 100% IV Scyther, very cool. Off the purification from the Jesse and James balloon. So that's super dope. Okay, well we got a hundo on the day. Now to get something sparkly. Fun, and a quad stop, and we end up. Okay, I've got to say that was easily the, the best ride right, ever. Ever. Coolest ride I've ever been on ever. If you're ever in Orlando, you got to hit this. <laughs> the the wait is a really it's a really long wait. A lot of it's in the shade. Totally worth, right? It's like 2 hours, but it's like the best experience of your life. So good. And I it's promise. long. The ride's long. Like from start to finish, it's like yeah. a whole experience. I'm mind blown. Mind blown. Oh my god. <laughs>
And we're back to a new park today, Hollywood Studios. We're going back home to Hollywood, Lauren. I'm gonna be a superstar one day here at Hollywood Studios in sunny Florida. Stop. <laughs> well, before we jump on in and walk around, because we've got a lot to do today and some long lines to wait in today, including Rise of the Resistance, which has a line of over two hours. So it's gonna be a big one today. But I wanna log in, check Pokemon Go, 10 kilometer eggs hatching to start. Timber. Dude, the birthday hat shiny timber couldn't be more perfect. Also, in game, actually, I see a Zubat spawn. Imagine. Speaking of birthday, I mean, the birthday shiny Crobat, that was incredible. We've also got a couple more spawns here. Shiny Chick. Chick. Yeah. Chick. Four. No shinies to start. You know, I, I still haven't caught a wild shiny here in Disneyland, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we do have a Maractus, though, down. I, I know we've been catching a million of these, and again, you Floridians must be bored of them, but. Refreshing to see new Pokemon. And speaking of new Pokemon, man, Halloween update coming soon. We've got the Safari Zone event happening soon here as well. So a lot of exciting things going down in Pokemon Go over the next couple days, weeks, months. I'm excited, man. But first, before we get to all of that, well, we gotta get into the park and have some fun here in Hollywood Studios. Oh, Lauren, can we get an interview? Oh, I didn't see you there. Are you ready to go inside Hollywood Studios in sunny Florida? Oh my God. A day so far, huh, Lauren? It's hot. <laughs> now, here in Star Wars Land, obviously the lines are ridiculous, especially for Rise of the Resistance, which is like a 130 minute line. That's thick. So, naturally, every Pokestop here is like all lured up, which is awesome. So, good to see people grinding. Now, I wanted to grab, before the mic dies, which is soon, I wanted to grab the Research Breakthrough Box. Actually, we have an encounter here with Yamask. Okay, so this is great. This could be a big, shiny Yamask out of the box which I would obviously be down for. I want to grab this, we're gonna get some food, some drinks, and then hop in line and get some rides going again. But first, oh, no shiny Yamask. I, I think I have one from last year or two. Maybe we have the family complete, I don't know. Galarian Yamask is all I really care about at this point, honestly, <laughs> but all right, well, there's the research breakthrough box. There goes Yamask, and then hopefully, some more fun things happening. I haven't really been playing much Pokemon Go lately. I think today is gonna to be combined with the Safari Zone video as well, so. Might take today and tomorrow a little bit slow on the go because Friday is the big one. Safari Zone, the makeup Safari Zone, which I'll only be able to play about half of, which will be interesting. So, um, yeah, man. But Mark's all lured up. Eggs are hatching. Lauren, you hungry? I'm hungry. We have food on the way. Welcome to the last day, the final adventure in the happiest place on earth, Disney World. Last day, we've got a park hopper. We are gonna start in Magic Kingdom. We're gonna see some fireworks. We're gonna look at some castles. We're gonna ride some rides. Gonna be in an awesome, exciting way to end an awesome, exciting trip. It's been great. It's been fun. Let's get out and have a wonderful last day. Lauren, you ready? Oh, what? You ready for the last day? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Thank you. 
right. The hair comes off. <laughs> so, the end, as the title so dramatically explains. What does that mean? Let's keep the suit on for this massive and honestly bittersweet announcement. Thank you all for the amazing memories over the last five and a half years, but unfortunately moving forward, I will be quitting Pokemon Go. Yeah, you really thought, huh? <laughs> no, not quitting, not quitting. Remember that content creation, making YouTube videos for me is a full-time job, it's my career, it's what keeps the lights on, it's what keeps my future bright, it's what I do. And I do Pokemon Go. This game is my career in a, in a, in a way. Fun fact for everybody, on August 28th, 2018, I uploaded a YouTube video to my channel titled, I Need a Break, explaining just that, needing a break. In 2018, I burnt out and I burnt out really, really hard. I had struggled, as I explained in the video, with things like anxiety and depression and loss of motivation and I, just a whole host of things. And, and I, I, I simply couldn't continue making content or work, I, I just couldn't. I, I, I hit the biggest of brick walls ever and I collapsed and I had to take a break and, and that's what happened three years ago. And here we are on October 31st, 2021, and, and I'm honestly feeling uh, uh, extremely similar to how I was then. Not as bad. I have a much better uh, perspective. I have a much better understanding of things. Um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a lot older and smarter now than I was then. Lately, I, I just, I haven't been, and, and I'm sure many of us can, can relate to this, because I'm sure many of us have been here at some point in our lives. I, I just, when I wake up in the morning, I'm just not excited. I'm not excited to get up. I'm not excited to, to do the things that I need to do. I'm not excited to, to, to you know, grind the career that I'm so blessed to have to the point where I, I'll question the things like, you know, like, why am I, why am I even making this video? Like, it, it, why am I even doing this? Like, why, why, you know, like, this has no meaning, therefore, why should I do it? Like, thinking like that, which is toxic, it prevents creativity, it prevents building, it prevents enjoying what you do, you know, like, I, like I've been there lately. And I haven't really been there much over my last nine years of YouTube, um, and, and the last time that I was really there was 2018. I'm someone who really thrives when I when I know what I'm working towards, right? When I set goals and I build, I reverse engineer a pathway from the goal to where I am now, and I know what to do, I know how to get, and I just freaking crank, you know what I'm saying? I'm someone who really thrives when, when I when I construct my, my life and my world like that. And right now, it, it's, a, it's a weird time for me because I, I am, I am having a really hard time doing that. And because of that, I'm having a hard time with with building things. I think that for somebody in an entrepreneurial situation, the ability to problem solve well and build are like the two things that you have to do and have to do well in order to be successful. I love problem solving, I love building, but right now I'm just, the thought of problem solving it like like cripples me and, and I am not motivated or ambitious or excited enough to really be able to efficiently build things. I'm, I'm like failing as a as a content creator and an entrepreneur day by day and it's getting worse day by day. And I think it's just, a, it, it's a combination of, of a lot of things. Number one being, I just I just don't know what I want, I think. I, I think I'm just struggling with like, what do I want with Mystic Seven? What do I want with Brandon? What do I want with my career? What do I want with my life? What do I want of obviously just it, it's it sucks to put a lot of effort into stuff and then for it to not do well <laughs> you know like numbers for the content creators in the community like, our numbers are down anywhere between 30 to 70 percent on average right now and that hurts like my safari zone video that i uploaded yesterday i was like it doesn't matter what i thumbnail this or title this because it's gonna like tank like this video is gonna suck you know i'm saying like, but the video was great it was a great video it was a fun adventure it was you know we had awesome shiny catches but the video's gonna do horribly and there's like nothing i can do about that like like that's where it's at right now for for at least for me with content creation in, in this space and that is really demotivating and then and then third I, just the future of the game man I, I you know i i don't i don't know i i it's it's we've had ups and we've had downs in the community but like this is different this time you know and and i've said that before been saying that and and, it, and it's stressful and and it's it's uncertain so these three things combined and i'm just like i need time to think about these things and and debate where I want to take stuff. But I'll be taking some time away. I'll be stepping away from YouTube, from Twitch, um, and and just kind of reevaluating and, and trying to you know f get my peace of mind back and get my motivation and my ambition and my excitement back because I have definitely lost that. Granted, I will be active on you know Instagram and Twitter and Discord, so feel free to connect with me there. And even on Twitch, I'll probably end up coming back and doing some Twitch streams before I come back and do YouTube content. So follow me on Twitch if you like. But I do want to thank each and every one of you for, I mean, watching the video to this point in the video uh, and for being a part of the, the you know, the fun 
family-friendly, freaking awesome, explorative community we've had over the last couple of years. So thank you everybody, love you all. If I could leave you with one thing, it's this. Uh, do the things and focus on the things that bring you joy and excitement in life and not on the things that bring you resentment and anger or, 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 or negative emotions. <laughs> and I'm excited to get back to that. So I'll see you when I see you. Hope you have an awesome uh, month of November and hope you had a great Halloween, an awesome 2021. And I will see you all in the next video or on social media. I'll be active on social media. Check me out there. But I'll see you in the next YouTube video whenever it happens. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Put the wig back on, okay? Oh, God. Yeah, baby. See you later.